Unity's demo project, The Heretic, was built in a 2019.3 version and uses the High Definition Render Pipeline. This render pipeline helps bring high definition and realistic visuals to your projects. One area of graphics that has been massively improved in HDRP is lighting. The Heretic project took advantage of these improvements and was entirely lit using real-time lights. The high definition render pipeline has taken the lights that you're probably familiar with and has extended and improved them. Directional, spot, and point lights all have new settings and capabilities. Lighting is now physically accurate and uses real-world values such as lumen, lux, and candela. There are also more settings that allow you to change the temperature of the light, providing artists a quick way to change the mood of the scene. In this shot of the project, we have a floating spotlight that illuminates everything in the environment. With the new settings and gizmos, we can control parameters like the inner angle, which influences the cone's falloff. Lights also have individual shadow map settings, allowing for much more control over how the shadow looks. Given that this environment is a dark corridor, shadows play a major role in setting the atmosphere and ambience. And as the corridor is filled with a lot of smaller details such as pipes, rocks, and rubble, enabling contact shadows allows small mesh details to cast shadows, grounding them to the surface. HDRP has also added volumetric rendering, which simulates how light scatters and illuminates dust or fog. Throughout the Heretic project, there are several density volumes to emphasize the dark and dusty environment, creating a more dense visual of the light sources. In this scene, the volumetric fog slightly moves as it is sampling a 3D detail texture, creating a much more organic dust effect. Another example of this effect is in the temple sequence, where changing the global directional light in the scene actually shows the light shafts adapt in real time. This means that the artist of the heretic could quickly iterate on the lighting and composition of this complex scene. HCRP also added light layers, which are layer masks that make lights only affect specific meshes. This feature is used heavily in the heretic whenever there are close-up shots of the main character, called Gawain, to bring out extra details in his features, allowing the artists on the project to create specific lighting conditions for the skin, clothing, and eyes. Don't forget to watch the full short film of the heretic to check out the results. Thanks for watching.